there, fish mates. This is Ichiology 101 and we will be talking about the guidelines on your output, the compilation of fishes. For the purpose of your requirement, we start off with the super basic anatomical figures of a typical bony fish. We have here the sample of a typical bony fish, the Aristictes nobilis, uh, subdivided into three major sections. We have the head, the trunk, which of course the majority of the body of the fish, and we have the caudal. Distinct to a fish is fin. Generally, fins serve simultaneously as propeller, stabilizer, and in maneuvering. However, each fin has its specific purpose. Fins by position may be paired, like the pectoral fins here and the pelvic fins low, down below, or they can be mid-jan, like the dorsal fin, the, the anal fin, and the caudal fin here. Now on the template posted on the Google Classroom, we have to record the length of our specimen. In measuring the length, we normally use fish measuring board, but taking into consideration our online class setup, we opted for a foot rule here. Length can be measured in three different ways. First, we have the total length, which is taken from the tip of the snout, starting here at this point, up to the tip of the longest caudal fin. Next is the fork length, measured from the tip of the snout up to the shortest point of the caudal fin. The third one, which is normally used in scientific studies, is the standard length, which is taken from the tip of the snout here, and again dragging to its caudal peduncle in this point of the fish. For the specimen setup, your background should be white for uniformity of the output of the entire class. I would recommend the white plastic chopping board normally available in our local market. You can fix your ruler here on the uppermost side of your white plastic chopping board and in Viola you have your DIY fish measuring board. Before taking the photo of your specimen, lock your exposure by tapping the screen and lock hold. Adjust your exposure by dragging up or down. Take the photo at 90 degrees angle respective to the subject. Capture the image in landscape format. Before you attach your image on our template provided, make sure to take note of two important things. First is to avoid using any filters. That is, of course, to preserve the natural color or contrast of your specimen. If possible, use higher pixels for better quality of your photo. Now let's wrap up your output by completing all required field needed or provided in your template in your Google Classroom.